can you land a 747 at St. Bart's? We're gonna find out, coming up. Hey, 74 crew, welcome back. If you don't know me, my name's Kelsey. I'm a 747 pilot. My channel, 74 Gear, is all about aviation. Someone left me a comment saying, can you land a 747 at an inappropriately short runway? And I thought, I'm basically a professional flight simmer now. Of course I can do that, I think. Let's get into it. All right. So, as you know, I, uh, I don't like to waste a lot of time. So we're just gonna go full power and clean up everything and uh, head over there to the island. I wish there was a way, and, there, and honestly, there, there probably is, I just haven't figured out, a way to get in there closer to the, to the field. I, uh, as you can see, I'm on a green screen. It took me a couple of days to figure this out and excessive airspeed. Oh, below 10. Okay, well, hold on the green screen. So technically you're not allowed to go 250 below 10. I, I know that's a rule, but there is something that you may not know. And I actually, I didn't know this before. Well, I didn't know this in, or before I started flying heavies. I knew a little bit before, but not, not exactly before. I better slow down. Um, you can actually do what's called a high-speed climb. I don't know if you'll, sometimes you'll hear, hear air traffic control, you hear the pilot say, hey, we need a high-speed climb or request high-speed climb, things like that. High-speed climb, when you're flying a heavy jet, they give you clearance to go above 250, below 10,000 feet. And the first few times I was doing it, I was like, I, I feel like such a rebel. But because you can't, with some of the planes when they're fully loaded, you can't get all the flaps up and everything cleaned up for the plane to fly the most, most efficiently uh, without uh, going at least 250 knots or going over 250 knots. Where is this airport? I know it's in the middle here somewhere. A little slow. So um, anyways, you are allowed to, to go above 250 if you request a high-speed climb. Some places won't let you do it. The one that comes to mind is Germany. Germany will never let you do a high-speed climb. Most other places will let you do the high-speed climb, but Germany, they, they don't, for some reason, they don't want to let you do it. I don't know if it's something to do with noise or what. I think it's in this cove here where that uh, ship is. Normally, you always see them in the videos coming the other way. I've never actually flown into St. Bart's in real life um, with or without a 747. But I think, I think that's it. That's got to be it right there. All right, we got everything configured. We got the speed brakes slowing us down. Oh, it's got a little countdown to get in there. That's pretty cool. Let's get this back. Um, don't touch yet. Don't touch yet. Oh, am I going to get this on the first try? All right. This is looking pretty good. Co-pilot, slow down. I got the set. What? There's no way that that's a crash. I don't know if the wing hit some of the trees or what, but I had the thing right down the middle. We gotta do this again. All right. Oh, the speed brakes are out from before. Let's get the gear up. Um, what I was saying about the green screen earlier, the. Uh, the hoodie that I had, the blue hoodie and the blue shirt that I always used to wear when I fly and I would wear it in these videos, um, that was, there was something wrong with it. It was so close to the color of the green screen. I don't know, or I don't know what I'm doing. Either way, it didn't fit or it wasn't working. And I spent like two days messing around with it. And I actually, go, I have to go back to work. I'm going to be working. I bid my schedules together. So I'm working basically a month straight. And I think I'm going to be flying the COVID vaccine, which I'm, I'm kind of excited about. I'm kind of excited about anyway since the blue wasn't working on the green screen I, I decided 2021 swap it up this is this is my new hoodie my new hoodie and my new undershirt that I'll be flying with for 2021 and I did it all for you in the 7-4 crew so I could make these uh, flying videos so um, you'll you'll probably be seeing this somewhere on the gram if it's not there already you'll be seeing 
you'll be seeing by the time you see this video, I, I may already post a picture of wearing this, but or I may just save it. Let's get this thing all. Try this again. Um, I'm going to try to land again. So whiny with these speeds. I'm going to try to land actually on the side. And try to cut it as on a corner. See if that works. Equipment danger. What? What's two twenty? So there, there are speaking on the on the landing gear. I guess it's saying that I try to put the gear out too fast. There is no warning for that. If you drop the lever where the landing gear is at, the gear goes out. That's there's there's no uh, there is a restriction. There is a limitation on it, but it's not two twenty. I don't know why they have that on there. So let's see if we can get in here and get this done. Um, I have to pack, I have to go get food, I gotta pack and I gotta go to work. So I gotta get this video done today before I head out or it's gonna be a month. All right, so we got everything set up here. A little bit, a little bit of power. It's power with the speed brakes out. That's a great pilot in Kels. 137, we got everything set. Let's hit it on the corner. Nice. Now just drift it. I'm gonna drift it over to the left-hand side a little bit. So that way we can be on the left-hand side. Maybe we don't clip the trees. And there, there's no way that I'm hitting something over there. In the old Microsoft game, you could like drive through buildings and now my, my wing hits a tree and it counts as a, a whole crash. I think you remember in the Air Force One, I think it was, 747 was driving around a Ramstein and it was cutting down trees like it was nobody's business. And now it seems that my Dash 8 hits a wing into the trees and it's a full crash? No. Maybe a spin, but definitely not a crash. Okay. Look these freaking power and speed brakes. Get the gear up. Irritating. I wish there was a way, and if there is, if you can let me know how I can start closer, closer to the runway, because this is so far away. And there's, I don't know, there's got to be a way to get closer. I just haven't figured it out. I don't know, there's a lot of, there's a lot of you that uh, play this a lot more than I have uh, time to do it. Actually, I have to go to the real simulator soon for my annual well, we have to go every like six months, but it's the one where it's all the exams and everything's on fire. All uh, right. Why are we going so slow? Oh, maybe because we're climbing. Anyway, the uh, I wanted to to let you know I had some friends over, and they saw. You can imagine this setup that I have in, the, in my house. People are a little bit confused when they when they see all this, and these two girls better slow down. These two girls were uh, looking at it and they were like, "We we want to play. We want to play. We want to play. We want to play." I'm like, "Okay." So I don't. Most people don't know. I don't ever tell people that I'm a YouTuber. I just say I'm I'm a pilot, because uh, I don't really feel like I'm a YouTuber. I don't know why. Anyway, the I don't really tell people that I'm a YouTuber. So they're just like, "Why do you have this?" And I tell them, "Oh, I'm doing." testing for a company to see uh, to see how realistic it is and they're like oh that's cool so I I loaded up the game and I loaded up some approaches I don't remember where we were going like LA or something so I load up some approaches and um, anyway they they really enjoyed playing it and I just want to put this out there if, if in like five to seven years you have a female captain who who's doing like 250 to the marker and then throwing out the the speed brakes and the flaps and the gear are all at the same time. I, I have no responsibility for that whatsoever. Just, I mean, official warning. We're, we got it slow now. We better climb up or we're not gonna get over this mountain here. Get up. I don't wanna get up too high, but just enough to clear it. There we go. And, what? Oh no, 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 no. There's no way that I hit that mountain. I'm going to play that back on replay when, later on, but there's no way that I hit that mountain. Actually, I'm going to do it on replay right now. 
look, right here, you can see I'm not anywhere near that mountain. Well, I mean, I'm near the mountain, but I'm definitely not so close that I'm hitting it. I definitely cleared that. that that's, not, that's not good. All right, we got to do this again. All right. I'm going to do this again. In the old one, you could drive through everything, and now you, you can't even get close to stuff. So I got everything set here. I got max auto brakes, and now I'm just going to drift it into the grass, and then that will be far away from whatever those trees are on the right-hand side. That's saying that I'm, I'm hitting them. Uh, I, I do enjoy playing these. These are, these are fun, because they don't really let us do this in the sim. And I've had some people say that this isn't real because I'm playing it in third person. But uh, that's the easiest way for me to do it. It's a massive sneeze. I'm definitely going to have to edit that out. <laughs> I, I, uh, I do enjoy playing these games, but t like I said, some people say that it's uh, third person's cheating. But uh, I haven't figured out a way to see all this stuff at the speed that uh, I would normally see it in real life. So it's, it's really the easiest way for me. Now I'm getting some speed. Like I said, I'm going to go all the way into the grass this time. And uh, let's see back. I was just doing like 370, but now that I slowed down, it's about the 250. Whatever. Obviously, if you ever fly 747, don't try this. And they don't really let us play like this in the sim. Well, kind of, in the real sim. If you have all your stuff done and you have time and there's nobody behind you uh, in the sim slot, sometimes they'll let you do some stuff. I haven't let them let me go to St. Bart's, but uh, maybe, maybe soon. Also, I keep getting a lot of messages from people saying, Altitude too high. Well, that's what happens when you hit a mountain when you don't really hit a mountain. I have a joystick to pull the landing gear. Oh, yeah, I should probably do that. Um, like, a lot of people are saying, are you, are you not going to fly a 747 since they're all retired? They're still making 747s. They're making the Dash 8s. So I'm still flying a 747. We have a whole bunch. And we sell the Dash 8s, and those are pretty new. Okay, now we've floated. Damn. That was ugly. We get in the grass. Okay, so I can drive in the grass, but I can't go in the plane. Or in the, down the middle. Okay. I'll take that crash. That's a real one. Fine. Okay, here we go. This is the last one, because I gotta get ready to go to work. I'm actually, like I said, I was talking earlier, I'm going to fly the vaccine. I'm really excited about doing that. I don't, I know we, you know, there's, there's all these protocols of like uh, temperatures and it's got to be cold and it gets packed with dry ice and stuff like that. I'm just kind of curious to see how it loads on the planes if it's all, if it's like the whole plane, which I don't think it will be because I think they want to keep it separated out because if it goes bad, Sometimes what happens on these planes, on these freighters, uh, I wonder if there's a way to make that thing not whine at you. Um, on these freighters, sometimes this, the temperature can't get controlled. Like you want to control it, but it's not, it won't, the temperature won't go down. And if the temperature won't go down and it gets too hot for whatever reason, the, the, um, the vaccine, if it heats up above a certain temperature, it's, it's useless. So I don't know if they're going to put the whole load up a whole plane. Luckily, it's winter, so it's cool in a lot of places that we're going. I don't think I'm going to be able to take photos and stuff with it, though. I think they get uh, not, not, uh, not allowed to talk about where it's going from or to or any of that stuff while it's happening. I guess they don't want people out there mobbing, mobbing for the vaccine. But it is cool. I got to fly. I got to fly when nobody was flying. It was kind of weird. Then I got to fly medical supplies and masks and the respirators and all that stuff while that was happening. And uh, now I'm going to get to fly the vaccine. So uh, it's cool. I'm really excited to honestly be a part of all of it. It seems surreal, but it's uh, it's cool to be a part of it. And 
I'm very excited to not have to wear this mask anymore. Too high, decrease altitude, abandon current landing attempt. Watch this. Make this happen. Um, I do not like wearing the mask, so I'm excited to get the vaccine out as quickly as possible so I don't have to wear this mask anymore. All right. Let's focus on this landing. We're a little bit too fast here. I want to slow down. All right, let's get a little bit towards the middle here. Let's get it on the numbers, which you're not supposed to do. And then we're going to get it into the grass. Dude, I think I got it. I'll slow down. I think I got it. It would have stopped earlier, by the way, because I had it on max. There's no way that that's a crash. No way that is a crash. Look, in real life, if you did that and you stopped like that on that hill, one, the plane would have stopped earlier because I had it on max and I think it would have stopped in that distance, especially at the speed I was going. And obviously I don't know what the weight was, but I think we would have stopped. And even if we didn't stop and we made it just up that hill, that wing would have leaned over like that, everybody would have been fine. That's not a crash. If you want to see some actual aviation footage that I break down, check out this video here. And if you want to watch me rip apart Hollywood's version of aviation movies, check out this video up here. I look forward to hearing from you. Until then, keep the blue side up.